Hi everyone and welcome to my first look video on Blue 5 Berry Back uh, power amplifier based on TPA Texas Instruments TPA 3255 uh, chipset. Uh, well, I got this one for the same reason that everyone else is getting this one because it has um, DSP integrated. So it's a very simple, very cheap build that otherwise wouldn't get my attention at all. But it has DSP. You're connecting this little guy to your PC and uh, you can use PC software to uh, program this DSP. And this gives you some very interesting opportunities. And it's also very cheap. Uh, it's like... Uh, Let's count this. A little less than forty dollars, and uh, it's compared to other Chi-Fi devices that I'm buying. It's so cheap that I actually got it using my cashback money from uh, one of my power amplifiers. So, <clears throat> in order to get inside and take a look inside, we need to, as usual, take off the volume pot. We need to unscrew this hex nut here. And we need to unscrew four hex bolts on the back of the device. So, these ones, yeah. So, I'll be back with you guys in a second. No, not these ones. Yeah, these ones. Because we'll be removing the back plate with the PCB. Okay, so just a second. Okay, so the last screw is here. Uh, this little guy will have its own full review. This is the first look. So you're taking a sneak peek inside. Okay, so I've removed the hex bolt from here. I've removed the four screws from here and we are supposed to be able to slide the PCB by pushing at the volume pot and yeah. Here it goes. It goes so slowly because we have a nice uh, thermal paste on the case inside. Uh, so it's it, it's not sliding uh, very fast, but it's easy to take it out using your fingers. Okay, so the case looks pretty solid. It's quite thick actually because it will act as a radiator. The downside of the PCB has a metal block that's placed on top of TPA 3255 and this block is used to transfer the heat from the chipset to the case and further away. <coughs> There's nothing uh, interesting other than this metal block uh, on the underneath of the PCB except maybe for two things that it's not very clean as you can see it doesn't really matter for uh, operation of the device, uh, but it's not very aesthetic. Uh, and the other thing interesting for me is this unusual second layer, let's say, let's call it second layer of the PCB. Now, apparently uh, there was a need for the uh, connection uh, between the back and the front of the PCB and there was no place on the PCB for the tracks or they just forgot to trace that or the plan was to use the cable but for some kind of reason they went with smaller PCB but as you can see there is a small PCB soldered in four points here and it's basically working as a wire okay let's take a look at the top ta -da, ta -da, and there's nothing interesting here yeah so I'm trying not to get dirty smeared by the silicon grease but uh, here we go uh, we have two uh, NE5532 operational amplifiers uh, here they are soldered so there will be no play in op -amp, with op -amp rolling uh, we have a DSP chip here uh, we have some coils I think these are TDK ones these they look like TDK inductors but maybe I'm wrong 
and we have power cups and the power cups are from some completely unknown company at least unknown to me LH Nova and these are on 470 microfarads uh, yeah so the theory says that we could be replacing them with something bigger and better <clears throat> uh, I'm not a big fan on the of the speaker connections uh, I think these are nickel plated nickel plated nickel plated and they are using standard industrial connector to the PCB as you can see so I wouldn't expect a very high uh, high quality Ow. Ah. I got my fingers dirty. Uh, very high sound quality coming from that connectors. But as I said, it's a very cheap device. Uh, it's using uh, well proven uh, Texas Instruments uh, D class amplifier and it has DSP. I can't wait to get my hands on the DSP software and to play with it. Uh, okay, so that would be all. For this quick first uh, look uh, video, stay tuned for full review. Uh, I I'll do the burning for that one. I think it will be like uh, I don't know five to seven days, uh, and then I'll get uh, the PC software uh, for programming this DSP, and I'll try to work out if it's useful or not. So. Once again, stay tuned for full video review of this nice toy and have a great day. Have a great day, guys. Bye.